Good morning, Pisces. How y'all doing? Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Yes. So, let's start off, Pisces. What's up, baby? So, first of all, don't forget to wear that mask. Wash your hands. Please. Now, for everyone's safety, please wear the mask. Please. And also, um, and I'm only telling y'all to be aware of other people, okay? Health and safety is only if you want to do it, because I ain't forcing nobody to do nothing. I ain't going through all that. Now, for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel, thank you a million and one. And for all those who love me, just know my love is bigger than the ocean, baby. Okay, it ain't no distance between you and I. Thank you for all you that go to my web, purchase all oh my, so much I got to offer y'all. I got oils, you can make your own product, all kinds of oils, every kind, money, happiness, breaking curse, all that. My bracelets, oh my God, yes, I'm going to start making my rings. All my stones. Look at these new babies I got. All right. This is just amazing of all the different rocks. Okay. Um, the roots. All of that. You know, um, my homemade sage. Uh, my candles. These are my chakra candles. And my chakra candles are made just like this because... I don't want to make it all one color. I want to make sure you get the light. And the light is God above all. So there it is. And you know the chakras are seven. And they're every bit of every part in your body. Okay. Um, I got baths. Okay. To clean your house. To take a bath in. I got soaps. I got um, sprays. Okay. The root spray. The root um, soap. I got salt. My salt is phenomenal. So remember that. Whatever it is you like, go on to my um, web and get it. All right? Now, here we go. This is a new deck I got. All right? It says Good Karma. The Good Karma deck. So I just want to use it on you. Here we go. You know the first two cards is you and God. Oh, they came out. They came out just like that. Look at this. All right now. All right now. All right now. Now, look how pretty these decks are. They big and bold too, right? All right, so you got the five of coins. The five of coins. All right? Um, the five of coins. Capricorn, Taurus, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got the world car, all right? The world car, honey, it is Saturn, very the sweetest thing ever. And then you got the Ace of Wands, all right? Fire sign, every Sagittarius or Leo, that is how it's going to be. All right, so we start off with, there's five of pentacles, all right? And this is a new deck, and I'm super excited to see it. And, you know, everybody, when they do their decks, everybody got their own way of putting whatever they want. But it's all meaning the same. It all means the same, okay? It's no different on what they got to say because it's really all the same, all right? So now the five of cups. Processing what happens and move on. Processing what happens and move on. Whatever happened, process it and move on, right? It says time to heal and rejuvenate and ask for help. It's time to heal and rejuvenate. Now, the vibes is still there, honey. Look how you look at those, right? It says... This is one of the toughest cards of the of the tarot. Although is a message that 
the worst is over. And whatever pain you are still experiencing is to some degree caused because you have chosen to not move on. Okay? The five of coins shows up when something negative happens or you experience a loss. It's stuck and there's no denying that. But it is done with, with you, with you are now in danger of self um, recriminating, reflections, okay? It's like you are in denial. You're looking at things like it used to be, okay? But learning into, to see past it, all right? It says, stand in the pain, really, than moving on from it. It's like, rather you want to stay in the pain than to move on from it, all right? Now, don't um, work for it. Remain in, in imprisonment. Don't remain in imprisonment and put yourself in there, all right? In bed, in a bad situation or in a state of the past, because that is... Directing you ahead of it. So don't sit there and dwell on everything that happened. It happened and it means move on from whatever took place. I'm going to say it again. Processing what happened and move on. Process what happened and move on. The time to heal and rejuvenate and ask for help. All right? Now, the five of corn is often shown two people. Right? Walking through a winter glow. Both are poor and unhappy. Okay? Both are poor and unhappy. All right? One is on crutches while the other is barefoot. All right? Behind them, it shows the brightest light. And it looks like to be in a church that you're going by. It's a symbol of a church. But because the couple are so focused on their petty life, they fail to see this as a light of comfort to continue on their misery journey without ads. So what it wants you to do is stop feeling bad. Move on. Move on. I like the way they do it because on this card, it don't show two people. It shows you. Moving on from it. Right? Processing what happened and move on from it is a time to heal and rejuvenate and ask for help because you're going, you're going in the right direction. Okay? You're going in the right direction. So, um... You may feel like this loss, but baby, you are good. You are all good. I like the way they make these cards. I love anything that's showing you where you're at, but not so brutal. Like sometimes we can see on regular card decks, okay? Now, here is the Ace of Wands. Follow your own inspirational. Have faith in yourself and make a start, okay? Focusing on you and finding you, sharpen yourself up, okay? And that's what it is. Now, the ace means a new beginning, okay? And this is one, it's all about pursuing an inspiration, an excitement, and observing a new project, all right? The role or a job. All right, which also you may not really be qualified for, but it is going to be successful and fulfillment. All right, this card says go for it. So you may be feeling a loss of something, but it's a beginning of it. And it's saying, go for it, right? Now, 
it's hard to be successful at some time. Sometimes it's hard to be successful. You don't love it, right? If okay. It's, it may be hard to be successful at something that you're going to be doing, right? You don't, don't love it, right? You don't love it? It might be successful, but do you love doing it? Are you in love with it, right? Pursuit and plan a big part, okay? Success and rewards. When you get this car, it's a big push. For the universe to invest in a new chapter you dream of. All right? What you're looking for, whether it might be on paper or not, whatever gets you fire up, it is what you ought to be doing. All right? Experiencing the skill or knowledge can will can all be built and earn. Something is going to earn you money. Maybe you think you're not good at it, but you're going to be good at it. All right? But you have to start with a bigger dose of motivation. Get that dose of motivation to do it. Stop saying you're going to do it and not do it. Do it. Whether Whatever it is that you're doing, you better go for it. And maybe you may not think you're good enough to do it, but you're doing it. And that's what it is. It's giving yourself the chance to believe in you. All right? If the Ace of Wands represent a person in your reading, they are a possible of a fire sign, such as a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. They may be someone you going to go into business with or will buddy up with to a project, something creative. They could be a mentor or a friend who can help you, maybe even inspire you with good news or a new romance entering your life. Okay? Now, A good karma tip is be yourself. Everyone else is ready. Be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Be you. Be better than everybody. All right? Be you because everybody else is being taken. Do you understand what that means? Live your world because it don't even matter. What's yours is yours, all right? Now, on a regular card deck, right, the ace of wands is a hand in a cloud holding a wand, representing a new opportunity or an idea with potentials, okay? Fertilizing the landscape and also rainfall, the sense of growth and possibilities. A castle far away, his there are rewards to come and the hills in the background remains remind us that there always will be challenges along the way but they can be overcome so did you get this whatever you're going through baby finances or whatever it is that you're worrying about you're going to overcome it all right and remember don't worry about nothing else because everything is taken and it's about you. It's about you. It ain't about the next person. It's about you. Somebody want to partner with you. Somebody want to maybe open up a business with you. Or remember, baby, things is pushing you ahead. This is your hand being in a cloud with many opportunities to come your way. Right? Now, you got the world, and look at you. The world sits behind you. You're sitting there with a cup of wine, champagne, celebrating it. Look look at you. You are on fire. You up to part. You, you got the two-tone hair colors. You got 
all the green around you. The light is shining, but the world sits behind you full of joy. Okay? It, it marks, honey, the biggest car of all. The world is the 21. Do you understand? Like you on it. You're, you're, you're doing everything that you got to do. All right? That's what you're doing. you finding yourself at a, a place where everything is yours. All right? Everything is yours. So look at it. You may think that you're going through a lot, but the world is yours. All right? And know that. Nothing can come and tear you down because you built yourself and God has given you everything right in your hand. All right? Take a moment and celebrate your achievement, your, uh, who you are, your identity. Observe all the life lessons from your journey, all right? This is the final call of a major arcana, the end of a cycle that you've been going through, which begins with the fool, okay? It teaches you lessons, all right? Um... Sometimes people are there to teach you lessons and you may feel like you was going through something that you can't get over, but you are good now, all right? Now listen, in the good karma is first they ask why they did it and later they ask how they did it, all right? First they ask how they did it and then later they ask why they did it. Because that's how people get when it comes to you, all right? But you got a celebration here, okay? The world shows a naked woman wrapped up in purple cloth dancing inside the wealth, the symbol of cycles of completion and a new beginning. She is moving forward but looks behind her as the same, looks behind her at the same time because she looking back at what she went through, okay? She holds two wands like the musician indicating the abundance, okay? That she's manifesting around her are four figures, of a lion, a bull, a crane, and an eagle, all right? That represents the different signs, all right? Similar to those on the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel and the world is spinning, never stops. Don't control it, right? They are guiding through the pulse of a transformation helping you to feel secure and grinded, even as the sand around you shifts once more. It's like the world is letting you know that whatever you've been through, you went through it, right? But it's there to teach you. Look at back how far you come. At one time, you felt like somebody was crippling you or someone didn't want you to move on. They wanted to hold on to you. They wanted to enable you. They wanted to make you feel like you could not be or do better without them. But now the Ace of Wands is representing you. It's representing who you are, what you stand for right, is the hand above the clouds, okay, with that wand that's saying you can build anything you want, and then on top of that, you got the world card, do you understand, did you looking back at everything, but it's saying go for it, because now you look back at where you were to where you at, it can't nobody stop you, and the only one that holds you tight and have a grip of you it's not the person that's doing to you it's not the situation it's you because you're the only one 
that can come out of this shit. And let me tell you, when you break loose, it's like if you have a dog tied up on a tree and that dog never been free since he got it to your house. You never show them love, but you give them water and food. But the only how far they can go is how far you got that change or that leech on them. And that's how they got you. On a leech, they had you. And they only let you go eat and drink water and shit and piss all over that little area. Because they didn't want you to move on. Okay? They didn't want you to know your worth and know that you can have it all. Because this is the coins. All right? Do you understand? This is the coins, baby. Let me tell you. They try to keep you like this. And I'm going to show you. It shows you. It don't show two people. It shows you sitting outside in the rain while they in the house making their money on you with your money. You work hard for them. You try to do everything. You try to love these people. You try to do everything you could, but they had you like a dog on a leech. I'm going to give you food and water and you're going to shit and piss right in this little area because you can't go nowhere. I want to control you. And that's what they did. But you're feeling sorry for yourself because you know you. You know your worth. And what you did, you got the ace of wands. It lit up that fire inside of you. And it said, go for it. Because can't nobody hold you. This is the ace of new beginning. It's a new beginning to you. Don't stop now. You can't stop. Because you're there. You got the world card. This is just like the world of fortune. I keep telling y'all, don't try to control it. Let it go. Because everything you're going to do is for you. It's guiding you. The will of fortune and the will in the world is almost the same. The world is yours. You're there to gain it. This is the 21 card, the ending of it all. The beginning of everything. The best feeling that you can feel is being free. Not worrying anymore. Standing up to what you believe and what you know you're worth is having the world in your hand. And that's when things come together for you because you stood up and you said no uh uh it don't show two people and if you look at this in any car it shows two people but it shows you because you had to break to change to free yourself to know that you're not an animal you're a human being no one can cage you in your own home no one can cage you in a business with them no one once you let go, you let go. And once you know, it may be fear in you and thinking you can't do it, but you can. Because once you get out of here, it's a new beginning. It's a new life. that says, I'm free. I'm free of a business partner. I'm free of a romance. I'm free of someone caging me, trying to keep me there. Working hard for them. Only got water and food. And I'm shitting and pissing where they had me at. Remember that. Some of us work hard for other people. And we put ourselves just like this. But let me let you know. After that, you get this. The clouds and the difference between this and most cards, it shows their hands through clouds, but this one shows the sun is breaking the clouds and showing you it ain't that cloud, honey. The sun came right up, and it's the beginning of all things. And don't be afraid because it can be scary, but you're free. You're free. You're free to 
do anything you want. And it may be a business partner, relationship with, but if you're free, you broke free to be yourself. And it can be scary, but someone is coming to you to offer you a deal of some sort. Or you are growing up into your own business, not being afraid. Or you were so afraid to open up a YouTube or how to get started. What am I going to do? Open up a business by yourself. You were afraid, but it's telling you to go because it's a go time. Because why? Because don't control nothing. The will in the world will always spin. And it don't mean that you won't have sad days. It just means that you are on top and you freed yourself. And that's what the whole idea is. Freeing yourself from the shit that you was in. Get in the world. Controlling it. Controlling it. Your world. Not someone else's. Your world. You got that? Now. You got the page of cups. Someone's being served. A martini. Look at this damn motherfucker. He's a happy motherfucker. Somebody young. Looking at you. Serving you. Serving you. I'm going to say it again. They serving you to drink as me. Look at the cup in the middle. They loving you. They want to serve you right, baby. Okay? Now. You got the eight of wands. The eight of wands. <coughs> and then you got the nine. Of wands. Okay. Now, let's get back into this. I love these cards. Love them. All right. But now, like always, you got to get used to the cards. And I'm going to sleep with these cards. And today it's going to rain where I live at. So I'm going to put them out in plastic and let, let it be outside, but not get wet because they're not going to get wet. But I'm going to sit them outside so they can marinate. With the universe. And what a better day. It's supposed to rain. Let the cards pull the rain. And then it's supposed to be sunny. You see that shit? All right now. The Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Right? It says. Love. Is coming your way. Okay? Radiating the joy. Compassion. Happiness. From within. From within. Let your creative juice flow. Let the creative juice of yours flow. Check it out. The ace means a new beginning. And this one is about your love life blossoming or your creativity ability. Okay. The important thing, this um, car is telling you, to process all starts from within. Process everything you're doing from within yourself. Right? Building it by your, your um, own self-love and beliefs. Filling the cups with your own self-love and beliefs. Because that's where it starts. It starts within you. The love starts within you. Because when you love yourself, that's when you bring Good love to you, all right? Express something, expect something to begin for you, all right? Rekindling, whoa, rekindling, okay, now. It says, or rekindling, express something, uh, expect something to begin. It says, for you, rekindling, okay, now, or rekindling. Is either for you or someone's coming to you. Someone younger. Someone, because the pages are young. They bring news to you, right? About love, because this is the cups. It's you, your emotion, how they feel, all right? This is um, telling you is a is something renewing, all right? Something renewing. Um, your appetite, something is giving you something new, 
for your life or for for you to see. All right, someone's giving you something, handing you something. You are um, overflowing with goodness. Okay, and a goodwill forward of all. Everything is going to be going for you good. And this is where you at right now, right? You will become what you wish to attract. And the universe will respond with new, new opportunities. So what you want is what you're going to get. How you are is what you bring to yourself. The universe is saying, I give you what you want, but what do you want? How you want it? Tell me what you want, right? It's like a way to taking your order and the universe is taking your order and telling you, tell me what you want, how you want it. But you, the universe is seeing it within coming out. Because you got to talk to give them your order. So how you doing it? How you want it? How you want it cooked? How you want it? Do you want it with toppings? What? The universe is telling you, tell me how you want it. And show me that you want it. That's what it's about. Okay? Now, um, you're likely, um, and that's because the way you think now, it's like the third eye is opening up. Okay? And you, it's like a light that's flashing brighter than ever now. It's that third eye. It's over you. It's like this light that just came on, right? And you're in the right place, right time to meet your soulmate or for your current relationship to move on to the next level, right? So wherever you at in this relationship, something is right on top and it's going to move to another level. All right? But remember, it's what you bring and how you order it from God, the universe, to give it to you. All right? Or for an important flash of inspiration to hit. So whatever it is, this, whatever it is, this relationship or whatever, is right on time, all right? Um, you may discover a deep or a lasting friendship. So maybe this person, and I always say the card should be friendship and then romance because you got to know somebody to like them and deal with them. You don't jump into bed and then find out this motherfucker's crazy. You need to learn them before you fuck them. And that's what you need to do. You need to keep your fucking mouth shut and listen to motherfuckers and start trying to fucking run in on top of them and then you don't know what the fuck they about. Are they serial killers? Are they rapists? Because they look good and they got the devil all around them. You need to look at these people for who they are before you order a meal that you ain't going to like. Okay? Remember, God says, tell me how you want me to give it to you. All right? Now, you may be on the break of beginning and creating a project or even about to give birth. Whoa. Somebody may be pregnant or whatever. Or it might be a project. Sometimes it comes... Uh, something is coming. Something good is coming. All right. If the Ace of Cup represents a person in your reading, they are a uh, possible a water sign such as Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. They are the love interests. Whoa. So if you got somebody, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, we're talking directly to someone that you may be dating, that God is telling you, you know, I can give you it all because this is a page. Someone's coming to you with an offer, someone new, someone or someone that wants to build 
a relationship, but I think a friendship before a relationship or someone that you've been seeing that are you, it's younger than you, all right? But it's somebody here that wants to serve you right, all right? Now, that, uh, uh, or creating a partner with whom you find fulfillment with. It could be also enough for you to remember that if you can't love yourself, how can others love you? If you can't love yourself, how the fuck you gonna bring somebody to love you? You ain't gonna bring nothing but a fucking devil because how you think and how you love yourself is who you bring it to you. Honey, yes, and that's true. If you want chaos in your life, that's what you're gonna get. If you want happiness in your life, create it. That's what you're gonna get, all right? Now, in a regular deck, it tells you, this card shows a cup representing Okay, the mind overflowing with five streams of water. That means the water is overflooded in the car, right? I represent um, pouring down from the clouds, okay? A growth of spiritual awareness, a dove, okay? Um, a symbol of a divine love. Now, a good karma tip is becoming what you wish to attract. A good karma trip tip is becoming what you attract. So somebody here is coming to you that's young. Younger than you or somebody that you was with younger than you. But they coming to bring you some news, girl. Or somebody coming brand new that's younger than you. Or something in the new stages. But it's news of someone loving you or caring about you. But I'm going to say something to you. I'm going to say it again. In order, I'd rather be friends than lovers any day. Don't think you're going to fuck me. I need to know, are you cuckoo psycho or what? Because if you think of yourself as being crazy and not trusting, then that's what you're going to get somebody that's crazy and not trusting. And nobody want that shit. Now. After that, you got the Eight of Wands, right? The Eight of Wands, and I love, love this, this whole, um, I love this, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I gave y'all the wrong reading for that, um, page, this is a new book, so bear with me, I am so sorry, I just realized that ain't the page, now, I'm sorry, let's go back to that, in the book. Because this is a whole new card deck. Now, the Page of Cups. Be open to inspiration. Take up a, a, a creating something. Inspirational, even psychic um, um, pursue you. It's like your psychic, your abilities are way beyond. It says, go with the flow. Right? Now, dream. Creating an inspiration, all right, swift around this car. So, so life may feel unsettled or for right now, you can probably expect the unexpected. The page of cup is an invitation to persevere your spirits and pursue your spirits. In your in intuition side to turn into your dreams and meditate it to listen to your inner voice and pay more attention to the deja vu which means it probably happened already and it's happening and then you're walking through it again right start a creative okay start creating something such as writing or dreaming um, a journal, okay, or painting, or writing, or something which enables you to express yourself, right, in whatever form you find coming natural, whatever form that you find come natural, you do it, all right, life is a bit 
normal, okay? But from storms, clouds, and wonderful news, or something may be feeling like it was stormy and very cloudy, but it's coming with good news, all right? A bolt of lightning, all right? In the form of a brighter idea or a wildest burst of creativity will emerge, okay? It's pursuing to help you create it and draw it out. Your intuitions and your gut feelings is telling you to do it. Do it, all right? Constantly open yourself. Listen to me. You need to open up yourself, all right? To good, to new ideas and projects. Activate the currently for, activate it. Make it like when you activate your phone, it's working for the first time. Activate whatever you want to do because it's a project that's serving you right. And it's the page is bringing you something. And pages bring you love, inspirational, all right? Pages are known for love, emotional, how you feel. Pages are known because you're very in tune. You're, you are um, spiritual, okay? Um, the pages come represent a person in your own reading, right? It says, the page of cup represents a person in your reading. They are possible a water sign as Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, all right? There's someone who enters your life with a bang, like boom, they came in, right? It might feel like a best friend or something like that. Or someone like that. Immediately, your best friend or somebody can become a soulmate. Someone could be about to sweep you off your feet. Somebody is coming to take you, woo, off your feet. But the beginning of the card represents everything about you. The whole reading is telling you. And then it represents, the card represents, like it says, Someone who is entering your life with a bang and may be sweeping you off your feet, all right? A soulmate. Someone could be about to come on and say, let's go, all right? But remember this. Be open and, and have that inspiration. Take up a craft, spiritual, or even psychic pursuit. A job that you don't even know that you can do. Go with the flow. But now, in a reading, this Ace of Cups represents someone coming trying to sweep you off your feet. And they're young. It's the young stages, a beginning of it, right? In a regular card deck, it represents, it shows up like the Page of Cups stands on. A shore, right? Holding a cup in his right hand, in his right hand, a fish popping up out of the cup. The water emerging re represent <coughs> current emotions. And, <laughs> and the uh and the appreciation of the fish is like a fresh or a flash of inspiration. A left field indicates that this car is all about being and receiving a new inspirational, but somebody here is going to serve you good. They want to serve you right. It's like a new beginning, but it's saying to you, it's also a new beginning of a spiritual awakening that you're coming into. All right? Now, the Eight of Wands right here is showing everything moving fast towards you. All right? The Eight of Wands, somebody's moving fast to you, 
But then you got the Nine of Wands being overprotective because you're saying, look, I, I don't know if I want to go into any kind of relationship after what I just went through, chaos. Or I don't know if I want to do this when it's been crazy, all right? The Eight of Wands says, be ready to say yes. Oh, whoa, did it say be ready to say yes after this cup coming to you? This brand new start, a new beginning. Somebody's bringing you news. Someone wants to be a part of you. Someone is digging you. Somebody is wanting you. Somebody wants to sweep you off your feet. Whoa. That's a big difference from where you sitting there mourning and boo-hoo, boo-hoo, right? Now, be ready to say yes. What you see is all natural is networking it. I feel like whatever's coming to you is the beginning of something start. Now, the beginning of this chapter is about you and where you're at, right? Listen, get this, getting this car is like riding the roller coaster of a wave, which is just like the ocean, right? You are on a roller coaster. Everything is turning out and even better than you hoped. All the groundwork, okay, the legal work, you already done. It's like you already done the leg work you walked through and you did it. You already done it, right? Um, done it, uh, it paid off. Okay, now you're going to see the rewards of the seeds that you already planted, All right? Now, this card represents an opportunity and uh, communication and suggesting that you're about to enter into a uh, water when of news of, of of a good news and it tells you here because that's the page the page of cups news about what it could be all the good things that you never thought it could happen to you right news inviting an idea coming into coming in for all coming in for all now in direct honey coming in for all and direct directly to you right now it asks you to prepare yourself to say yes. What does that mean? Is Miss Lisa getting married? Are you getting married? Are we getting into a real, real healthy commitment? Or something is happening here? Wow, this is going to be beautiful, right? Because we Pisces, we're never ready for nothing like this. Because it don't happen for us. It never works out. Right? Listen. To be ready to react fast. It's like, did somebody just ask me to marry them? Or did somebody ask me this that I wasn't expecting it ever? Was I ever expecting this? Okay? From this particular person. What? Now, don't let <clears throat> the wonders pause or um or this energy pass you by. Don't let it pass you by, right? Without without <clears throat> capitalizing on what is offered or what is on or, or, or what the offer is about. What is it that you're gonna say yes to? Because it's an offer here that's gonna be offered to you. If the Eight of Wands represents a person, a person <clears throat> in your reading, they are probably a, a Sagittarius as the car represents Jupiter. Sagittarius ruled the planet. This person is lucky, lucky for you. <clears throat> this is a person lucky for you. They will bring you good fortune. 
and you should join force to do something amazing even when you think it's impossible okay you heard that it may be a Sagittarius doing this and remember it's rule it's ruling it's representing Jupiter Sagittarius rule the planet all right Jupiter so it may be a Sagittarius in your life that wants to do all this who the fuck knew? All right? For you. Now, listen. Because you know I got to tell like it is. To trade, this card shows eight spirits of wands zipping through the air. Going through the air. Right? Now, the speeding is a uh, It's flying, it's like moving very fast, okay? Towards movement and travel. So somebody may be traveling to something here. The skies are clear. The river floating freely. Everything is clear, the river is floating, you're taking the fuck off, all right? Everything looks vibration and alive. Everything is gonna be, somebody wanna serve you on a platter serve you on a platter your wish is their command and everything seems like it's moving quickly but the thing is you got the nine of wands now you sitting there saying hmm been there done this and you got a wall because you've been there before all right you're not moving fast because you're making sure everything is right because you probably was wounded before and now you ain't trying to go back that way okay so listen don't give up now this is not as bad as you think okay it's an it's something that um that you have to overcome and everything will get better it's like something that you see as an obstacle. This obstacle and everything will get better. It's like it's, you see it like there, but it's going to get better. Okay? Now, um, the Nine of Wands is like, uh, the Nine of Wands is like a shoulder message that, from the universe to prep talk. It's prep talking you for your, um, for what you are getting ready to do. And it's throwing things at you. It's like throwing in the towel. It's like, you're like, look, I had enough of this shit. I'm just throwing the towel for all this bullshit. You're not gonna sugarcoat, you're not coming to me, sweet talking, all this fat, I'm throwing, uh, I got, uh-uh, all right? Now, um, the message is don't give up, okay? It's offering you the darkness before the dawn. I'm going to say it again. It's offer, it's often the darkness before the dawn, right? Um, and there is like the moon, the moon on the car is like shit. I don't know, you know, it's like everything was dark, but now you're going to start feeling the waves of the future. It's like you look at the sun is coming up. <clears throat> you see it? But you may feel like uh, something ain't right here, right? Unbelievable. The same issue you've been battling. Okay, against enough, you said. Well, you are choosing to break through. Then you think, and on the other side of the obstacle lies smooth seed planet selling. You can do this, all right? So whatever it is that you may think 
everything is moving fast and then you start thinking, I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't, I just can't do this. It's saying, even the sea is going to be calm. Everything around you is going to be calm because you can do it. All right? Someone is offering you the world, but it's like you afraid to take it because it's moving fast and you, everything, you getting ready to make a choice. And that choice has got you fucked up. All right? It's a road that you got to, that you want to take that's got you fucked up. All right? Now, <clears throat> You may get more in this task than you think. You may be doing more than what you think. Run at the obstacle because there's not half as wonsome as you built yourself up to believe. It's not even half of what you believe. It's bigger than what you believe. See, you believe one thing, but it's bigger than that. Okay? Now, if the nine of wands represent a person, if it rep see, I'm reading the both sides. If it represent a person in your life, check it out. You may, are you ready? They are ready to light up this fire. And it's a fire sign. Again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is this person could be part of an issue you you're facing, but prepare that can uh, prepare yourself. Perhaps they can help. Perhaps they can help. You must decide and act accordingly. All right. So maybe this person, Leo, uh, Sagitt uh Leo. Um, Arius of Sagittarius is playing a big part of this because I see it again. But they may can help you with whatever it is because I believe it's a choice you're going to make that maybe somebody is seeing another person or three, two different people, but they're going to have to make a choice. And I swear to you. This Aries Sagittarius or Leo and this uh, Pisces Scorpion Cancer plays a big part of these two people. For some reason, I feel it. Now, on the tray side about the card that's representing it is the nine of one shows an injury man holding a wand. He looks over his shoulders. At eight wands that her of uh, above him, okay, that are like there. He he is tired and has already faced a great deal of shift, a, a great deal of craziness, okay. Um, this is uh this is his last challenge before reaching the goal. You must overcome the final test of a challenge. I'm going to tell you something right now. Check it out. Good tip karma about this car. We don't give we don't give when things are easy. We don't grow when things are easy. We don't grow when things are easy. Okay? We grow when we overcome obstacles. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when they become obstacles that we got to go through. Now check this shit out, Pisces. This is a whole new card day. I'm glad. Somebody's offering you something. It's page. Somebody younger than you. Somebody's coming with some good news. They want to serve you right. Everything seems like it's moving fast. But now, you got to make a choice.
Okay? Now, you got to make a choice. And I believe Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo are playing a part in this decision. Okay? Now, remember... Jojo, you better leave her alone. Remember, and I'm going to say it again. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, every Sagittarius or Leo is playing a part in this role. All right? Big part. All right? They're the, they are the signs that are taking over the reading. Remember you felt this way. But it got you alone. It don't got you with nobody else. Usually it's two people. Left out in the cold. All right? That's how you felt. But the Ace of Wands is giving you something. Either you're going to be working with somebody. Something here needs to be worked out. Uh, after you going through this with your money. Like feeling like somebody had you tied up to a tree. All right? Tied up to a tree with just water. And food, and in that little area, you shit and did all because they wanted to control everything, and you work like a dog, like a slave. That's just how it is a slave of a person. But then, honey, you open up the clouds, and they don't show a little bit of clouds and look at the sun because now you're going to be working. And you know that your work is workable and you know what you can do. You're very crafty. You know that you can make the money. You, it's like you broke free from someone to start your own shit. But remember, that's all good because you're going to still have people being around you and working for you. Whatever it is, that's going to make you happy and bring the world together. Remember, do not try to control it. Because the world spins just like the will of fortune. They're almost similar. Okay? You can't control it. You got to go with the flow. And once you go with the flow, you're going to be on top of your game. Because here, you no longer bury your soul. Do you understand? You got clothes on. You got that red scarf. And you got a glass of wine. What the fuck? You already done enough. You What you, wanna, what you want me to give you my soul? So, no. You put clothes on and you say, damn it, I'm that bitch. I'm the bitch. I already gave you everything I had to give you. I ain't got nothing else to give you. Because you had me tied up in that tree thinking you're going to slay me, work me to death for you. And I couldn't build my own world. They got it fucked up because, Pisces, you on a mission to be the boss. Right? That's what you are. Right? Someone here wants to serve you right. But in order to serve you right, remember all these cards are telling you until you write that order to God and write it the way you want it, God is telling you in return. Do you know you? Because if you know you, you know your worth. What do you want to be served? How good you think of yourself is what you get on your platter. Remember that, because God is taking your order. He's serving you exactly what you want. But in order for you to get what you want, you got to be who you are, meant to be. You can't just be anybody. No, you got to be you, and only you. And you got to say, I deserve it all, and don't give that nasty lemon face, because if you give a nasty lemon face, that's what you're going to get. But you got to know your worth. Do you understand? To get that filet mignon, that lobster, okay? The best of the best, right? That yacht, that palace, the building, the mansion, the caviar get served the best. When you think of yourself as being the best, then you get served the best. 
things are moving fast. Very fast. For you. Right? Offers coming to you. Because remember, you can't serve what you want. But now, you're looking at this like, shit, I gotta make a decision. Looking at the sun, make that decision. Because been there and done this before. But I gotta make a decision. Been hurt before, been been wounded. But I gotta make a decision that guess what? It's an open right here. And I got this. Just that all I gotta do is turn around, and keep walking. That's all. Because what happens is you start turning around and keep thinking of everything you've been through. And you can't do that. You understand? Now, I'm going to say it again. On this card right here, remember, the tip, the good karma tip is telling you, we don't grow. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we can overcome obstacles. We don't grow by things being easy because we never had it easy. But we grow by obstacles, and that's Pisces. We always growing through obstacles because that's where we were born. Pisces, you was born with that. So you can challenge this because you was born to go through it. Nothing in life has ever been easy for you ever. Right? Remember that. Don't give up now. This is now, this is now as bad as, it's not as bad as you think. This obstacle and everything will get better. And that's what it's telling you. Don't give up on yourself now because shit, you ain't never had it easy in your life. So this whole thing that you're going through is all good because... You should be used to that shit. Now, the you got a lot of ones here, honey. A lot of ones. I don't know why you got all them damn ones, but you got a lot of ones. Look at that. Another ones. Jesus. Now you got the seven of swords. Right? Now. The middle of your card means everything is coming to you. Something knew what I just told you. Now, what you don't see is about what I'm going to get ready to tell you. The Seven of Wands. It's a lot of Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo in your reading. And then you got now the Swords thing came out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoa. Right? So the, and you got Pentacles. So this got everybody in it. The Seven of Wands, but more than anything, it got Wands. So Arius Sagittarius Leo is strong and it took over your reading. The Seven of Wands is, and you got damn near all the wands, all right? The Seven of Wands, hold your ground above all, protect your own interests. You are, you, you are an army. You are a one man army. And that's a Pisces. All our battles is fought alone. We don't have friends. We don't have families. We don't have nobody. It's, it's just the us. It says when this card appears in your reading, in your reading, and we're talking about you, <coughs> in your reading, you need to hold on. Hold your precision and stand your ground. It shows a strong may be necessary to protect your interests. Be the lion, not the fox. And row. Be the lion, not the fox, and tame that motherfucker. Tame that fox down because you the fucking lion. All right? The seven of wands shows there is competition. Okay? Like you're going in war. Um, like, um, you're riding on this river, but you know it's all around you, which 
is tough to handle, but handle it because you can. In fact, the others want what you have or are um, armor. Okay, like they want what you have. It's like they want what you have because they look at it like, um, that you are worth having. It's like they want what you have because whatever you have is worth having. Ain't that a bitch? All right? Defending yourself and choosing the path. Stay on top. Draw on your, don't resist it, all right? And forward to see this through. It's like, whatever it is, you're going to see yourself through this because it's like a battle. Because they want what you got because it's worth having. Ain't that a motherfucker? They want what you have because it's worth having. Baby, please. Right? Now. Um, this card suggests that you will win. Hello? You're going to win because you're going to carry yourself like a fucking lady or a man. And you ain't going to let nobody fucking act crazy with you. You're going to sit there and look at them like they're crazy. And I'm going to fucking tell you again, shut the fuck up and listen. I don't give a damn whatever the situation is. Shut up and listen. Because you're going to win. Do the things in a lady way, in a gentleman way. Because you're going to come on top. The less you say, the more angry they become because they can't control you or your situation. Remember, they had you tied up like you was a dog, all right? Now, if the seven of wands represent a person, all right, in your reading, there is possibility of fire signs such as Libra, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is someone you probably at odds with. Yes, because they're sneaky as hell. Maybe com compatible, uh, 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 arguing with, or um, they trying to make, they trying to be better than you or whatever it is. They in competition with you. That's what it is. All right. They think they better. They think that they're bigger or they got a bigger title than you or whatever it is. Right, you know, sometimes our realists, our um, rough rise are the gifts because they make us rise to a new level. You, uh, like your enemies are the ones that make you better than what you will ever be because they are the rivals, they're the ones that want to fight you, they're the ones that are jealous and envy of you. They just um, make you better than what you are, okay? Make your enemies your energy. Make your enemies your energy. What a way to put it, the best way. Make your enemy, make them your energy. Make them shit. While they fucking hating on me, I'm fucking really grinding on my shit, right? Now, on a regular card deck, it shows a man on top of a hill with wands in his hands, fighting off more wands from below. They, and I'm going to say that he's on the hill fight, fighting the ones below him. Did you get it? It's like the giraffe looking at people like, what? You better go ahead. All right? He is defending his uh, territory, himself. All right? He is wearing two different shoes. Two different shoes. <clears throat> All right? It's a hint. It's hinting that he's been caught by surprise. But he's fighting. He's he's fighting on anyway. He may, honey, they might got you um, by surprise. But shit, you got two shoes, but you still fighting the motherfuckers off. Right now, good karma tip. 
be the hardest worker in the room. Whatever you do, and that's a Pisces thing. We work harder than anybody else. And cross watchers, don't be like, well, you think Pisces is everything? I damn fucking sure do. You know why? Because I don't read for everybody. That's number one. I'm a Pisces. And if I don't know shit, I know everything about a Pisces. And what makes it fucking even better, that I'm a Pisces and I fuck with the other 11 signs because I can be you anytime I want to be. So if I want to be you, I already fucking know how you get down. All right? And I'm not saying that y'all something else, but y'all are because Pisces, we the ones that y'all fucking abuse and mistreat and use like trash until we wake up and fucking growl at your ass and be the fucking like we can fuck your ass up and take your hands off. Then you fucking wake up and see how much power you had over us that you didn't have shit. But you had us tied up on the tree like a dog, just feeding us water and food and letting us shit and piss where we lay at. Motherfucker, what? You tripping. You fucking tripping. Pisces, get the fuck up and show them what you working with. Because I'm teaching y'all a whole new card that. And this motherfucker here, yeah, I like it. Because it's really getting into some shit. All right? Because it's letting you know, shit. You can too much motherfucking wants. You doing too much. Put the motherfuckers down. Let somebody else do some shit. You ain't got to do everything for them. Make sure you take the wants and say, look, here's some work for you to do because it's your shit, not mine. I'm good. That's what you do. All right? Now, the ten of wants, less more of less is more. Say no more often. All right, less is more and say no more often. Your life, okay, announce your life for um, committing, which is no longer serving you. It's like the more work you do, the more they want you to do. So what you need to do is let go of all that shit that ain't serving you. All of them extra ones and let people get on their own shit. Let them fucking pile up and do all that work they supposed to do. Because you only get paid to do one fucking thing. And that's being you. If you focus on what you need to do. Because you the one at the job that want to do way more than everybody else. Then you want to get fucked. Right? Because someone here is trying to get away with something. Right? You see they got all them sores? Honey, they trying to... The more work you do, the more they trying to take from you. And they being sneaky about it. Because they know you the shit. So, the choices that you about to make with someone serving you like Jesus, God is serving you. Everything is moving fast. But you have been there before. So now you're like, uh-uh. Don't come at me because you're protecting everything about you. It shows you making a decision that you need to make. But here it shows you protecting yourself over everybody. Haters, jealous motherfuckers, right? Because you care too much of everybody's work. Let that shit go. Because here... You always want to work harder than everybody else. But somebody here is trying to get away with shit. Right? While you sitting there working, look at your face. It don't look like you're a happy motherfucker here. You carrying too much weight that you need to let go of. And look at this motherfucker here. Oh yeah, bitch. I got everything you want because I'm trying to steal it all for myself. Trying to get away with your shit. Ain't that a motherfucker? But they can't. All right? Let me tell you, they can't. Now listen. Um, Somebody here is a workaholic. And you need to stop. Because they, you're breaking yourself down with all these baggage that you carry. For someone else. Do it for yourself. And if you work for yourself like me and I got everything to do, shit, yeah, I need to get some help, right? Now, 
Um, the Ten of Wands, typical, just is telling you that it's a man carrying two, a large burden of sticks, a bunch of sticks towards a small town. He's looking like he's way down in fatigue, but he's also knows he's almost there and can then put down his heavy load. So I'm working hard for everything, but I know that I'm almost there and I can hire some help, damn it, right? Now, a good karma tip is don't, okay, don't. Now, make your schedule more clear. Clear it out so everything can be right for you. Make room for it. Don't overdo yourself with everything, okay? Because when you do that, you weigh yourself down. So, what I see on your reading here is that you was left out. Now, from the beginning, you was left out for cold because someone had you tied up. A dog on a tree. Change your fuck up with just water and food. And you shit and piss right there because they wasn't trying to feed you. But you was to crutch to their growth. Right? Remember I said you was to crutch to their growth. Here is showing you the ace of cup. Right? Now you're seeing everything for what it is. The clouds are moving away. The sun is shining never. You are going to be okay. Right? You are definitely going to be okay. Don't try to control anything. Because you got the world car. Let it go. And don't control it. Because here, you no longer is selling yourself naked to these motherfuckers. Selling your soul to the devil. Okay? You now are controlling the situation. You got the world in your hand. You got clothes on your body. Right? The sun is shining. You got champagne toasting to your new beginning because you free yourself from this cage you was in. How they cage you in. How they use you. And you looked at them like they needed you. They used your ass till they couldn't use you no more. So then they trashed you, but you broke free. Now, someone is coming with something new. But remember, God is taking an order here. How you see yourself and what you want is what you're going to get. Everything is moving fast. Right? You happy about this. But remember... Got to make a decision. You got to walk through because what goes on is you're thinking about what you've been through. Okay? But it's telling you. I know you wounded, but you can make it. Just keep going because you're there. The Seven of Wands. You're fighting all of these motherfuckers, but you're sitting on a hill. And they beneath you, they can't even get you if they wanted to. But you can, sure enough, you're fighting the fuck out of them. And this is a one man's battle. And look all the people he's battling. Fucking hate us. Right? Why? Because you may have been working with somebody that made you do everything. Every fucking thing. Or maybe you work for yourself and you feel like you're doing too much. But you're going to get relief. Because you're going to let go of all that shit. Because someone wants what you got. And they're trying to get away with it. Someone is trying to get away with something here. You got people that are envy. People that don't want the best for you. And probably sit up in your face. And try to uh, know your business all about what you're doing so that they can benefit from it. But remember, 
They can't because they can't duplicate you and they can't do the things you do. Now, This right here. Congratulations. Well, this is the source. Remember this. Um, and I wanted to look at this because, like I said, this is a whole new uh tarot. I mean, cards and people do what they want to do, but I like this. Now, check it out. Play it safe. If if in doubt, don't keep your own. Counsel them right now. If in doubt, make sure you think for yourself, okay? Be your own counselor. A tricky trickster of cards. The seven of swords advise you to be productive, cautious, and to trust no one, okay? Accept yourself. When this card rise, you may be subject of someone's undone hand dealing, or you may be attempting to pursue some yourself. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. Pathway to dark places are often um, paved with good intentions or shortcuts using what appeals, what look, so don't try to take shortcuts, okay? Don't do that. Now, um, don't take the shortcuts, all right? <clears throat> now, however, it's not time to scrabble or have attention, all right? Or bad behavior, or let yourself be Explore to people you don't trust completely, all right? Play it safe. Let the enemy pass by without getting embroiled in it. Without you getting into it, let the enemy pass you by. Don't feed into it, all right? Um, now, sit on... Uh, sit on, sit on your hands. Sit on your hands, it says, right? If the source is a person in your reading, they are probably an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is one to keep an eye on and maybe even keep an arm length. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. If it's a Gemini Libra Aquarius, you better keep your arm away from the motherfuckers because they don't have a good interest at heart for you. All right? Now, if it's you, don't try to say, take shortcuts on this. Do it the right way. All right? Now, this card usually shows a man sneaking away from a camp with, with five swords in his arms. Look behind him at two swords he has left behind. He grabbed, he's um, risen in the, in, it's like he's sliding away, hidden, okay? He is pleased with himself for Sneaking off, okay, with what he stole from you or whatever he took or whatever you're trying to get away with. He's up to no good, and that's the energy of this car, okay? Underhand, deceitful in the shadow. Now, good karma tip, all right? Everything eventually falls into in a trap that leads for. If you're going to do it, the shortcut is not going to serve you. So what it's telling you is do it right. Don't take shortcuts. You got haters here. You're working too hard. 
You might want to just take the shortcut, don't do it. You might have an Aquarius, watch out because they don't want really nothing good for you. What are they going to gain? It's something they want to gain from this. All right? Now. Let's move on. Your reading is telling you that you've been in many situations and people try to tie you down and not let you breathe or move around. But now you broke free because you got the world in your hand and you can do this. You got something being served through God and taking your order, moving fast. But now you feel like you wounded and you're not letting things be. Because you're still stuck on what happened. Um, then you fight in a bunch of haters. Haters, haters, haters. Okay? That you're feeling like you overworked or carrying too much of everybody's problems. All right? But remember, you got the four swords. Someone's trying to get away with something. All right? But they left two swords behind and they're looking to take that shit too. So, be careful of deception in people around you that don't want the best for you. You understand? But now, even with that, they can't get away with it because you're more bigger than that. Now, let's move on. That is your tarot card reading as far as that. But you know I always throw your own books in. So, here we go. And that's a whole new set of cards, so... I really like to read the book because the book gives, gives you a different clarification of how they see it, all right? Now, being stuck in the mud, you may be feeling stuck about a situation that you need to understand. It says, again, um... You being stuck in the mud, and I believe this is about a relationship. You may be, you know, not being stuck or making trying to make a decision about something here. All right? A wizard of war. Look at you. The wizard of all, honey. Look at you. You the wizard. You got everything. You in tune. You're Pisces. You already know that you got to make a choice. It, and you got to make it right. So you feeling stuck about a choice here. About a relationship. But I see butterflies. I see a, cac a cacu where the butterfly becomes... Um, a butterfly, and it starts flying, freeing itself, right? I feel like you were in a situation that you now got to make a major decision about the situation, all right? But you got all the answers because you're very smart and you're very in tune on what you need to do, right? It's like you seeing this person in three dimensional, or like maybe you're not with this person, but it says a new life. You gotta make a choice here because you feel stuck about something, about a choice that needs to be made. Okay? You are looking at everything very fine. You're making sure that it's what it is, right? And it says, not for you. Whatever the choice is that you going that you want to make, maybe that ain't the one. Oh, um, sorry, I had to answer that. It says not for you, right? 
uh, whatever it is, you better be, you better really think about it. I'm going to pull another card, but that, but not for you, because we need to know what is not. Right? It's like you're playing a game of chess. Who's going to win and who's going to lose? All right, so you're going to have to make a choice between maybe two people. Who's going to win and who's going to lose? Who's better and who's not? It says take a breath of air before you make a choice. Meditate on it. The answers are going to come to you. And I'm going to tell you, it got something to do. Because look, truth be told, somebody is revealing all their feelings for you. But if somebody here, is, I believe it's between two people. It needs to be a decision made between two different people. And that's how I see it. It says, again, awaken anchor deep within you. Something is about to happen for you. Healing from the past. Once you heal from the past, everything is going to be good for you. It says, source into joy. Childish wonder filled with life. Okay, you going with the flow of shit. With the flow of shit. It says forgiveness. Don't hold on to anything. Forgive because not the right time. Forgive. Whatever you're doing, just learn to forgive. And maybe it's not the right time that you feel like I'm not going to forgive this person because I've been through a lot. If you believe it's not the right time, but do you believe that it's the right time for you to make this decision? It says no. So you, if I was you, I'd take my time with this because you got the word no two times. And it's between two people. Somebody is showing a true self to you, but it's like a game of chess between two people. All right? It says getting to know each other as you reveal your intimate self to each other. You experience that deep love. It says deception. Someone here is wearing a fake mask in a relationship because someone here, someone else is taking their money. Something got to do with someone seeing someone else that just there for the money. All right? Someone's not in love, but somebody wants to take somebody for their money. Whoever this man is, probably got two people. Financial and career. Financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Let's see. Somebody may be looking at you like, oh, they ain't giving you shit. Or you looking at it like they ain't worth, you know, dealing with. Playfulness. To recapture your romance, allow your inner youth to spring into fun and shine. I feel like this could be the one, but I think this person seeing someone else and that person is taking them for their money because they ain't giving shit over here because they too busy somebody else in their pockets. Ain't that a bitch? Mm, 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 mm. Unexpected income. Look at that. Yeah. The privileged woman, you. Having it all. Okay, so well, whoever you seeing or whoever it is, they probably seeing somebody else that's probably taking them for their money. But I don't know. To each his own. Now, let's read one more card here. You got passion. Rejection. You rejecting this person. Balancing. And then you come to balancing everything in your life. But somebody here is in probably a three-way relationship or whatever. Just He's giving more to them than he gives to you. And I don't know what the fuck is going on. But, honey, see it for what it is. If you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. All right? I love you. Bye.